Hi everybody, this is Jill and this is Jill for today. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm baking a copycat recipe. It's Dave's bread. Now I'm not going to go any further. I think we all know what I mean when I say Dave's bread. It's good. It's really, really good. So let's get started. I'm going to go through the ingredients here. I've got, I've got whole wheat flour and bread flour and some rolled oats. And then I have some poppy seed, amaranth, sesame seed, and chia seed, uh, flax seed, sunflower seed, pumpkin seed, salt, yeast, and some uh, ground flax seed. And I'm going to get my mixing bowl and we're going to start putting it all in there. To my mixing bowl, I'm adding some uh, really good warm water. And then I'm going to add uh, three tablespoons of olive oil. Now this is a great recipe because this really is a dump and go. And you'll see that as I make this uh, loaf of bread. It's just a dump and go. Okay, there's our olive oil. And I'm going to add some honey to this. That's one of the things about um, Dave's bread that uh, we feel it's just entirely too sweet. That's one of the things I don't care about it. Um, I think probably the breads, you know, it's pretty well, uh, you know, put together, but it, it's too sweet. So I'm just adding a couple of tablespoons here of honey. So we've got our honey. And you see, when I put the oil in there first, right, and then I put the honey in afterwards, or anything sticky for that matter, look at that, it's all out of there. All right, now, in comes the other things. I'm going to put in the flowers and the oats. And I'm going to put in the seeds. See what I mean about a dump and go? It's just all going in at once. And there comes the seeds and the flax meal and the yeast on one side and the salt on the other so they don't conflict. I have a lot of people saying don't put them together. Well I didn't put them together. All right I'm going to get my mixer out and we're going to begin blending this. I'm going to get this just on low here to just get it mixed up. When this comes together, and you'll see, it's going to have, uh, it's just going to come together and collect on that dough hook in there. And I'm just letting it get just kind of combined there. All right, I'm going to kick this up to two. The reason I started out low is I didn't want that flour to just come flying up out of the mixer. I'm going to bring this down, just scrape a little bit on the sides here. If you find that once, and I'll, I'll let you know, sometimes, you know, it depends on how moist the day is or how much moisture is in your flour that you might need a little more water or if it's too wet, a little more flour. So let's just take a look here. But I think this is going to be good. So I'm going to let this knead for about 10 minutes and I'll, I'll drop in here every so often to show you how it's going. And um, so we'll just work on this for a bit. This is about two minutes in and as you can see the edges of the bowl are nice and clean. So that means that the dough's got a, a nice amount of moisture, a nice amount of dryness. And it's now just doing its thing here. It's kneading away. So I'm going to give it that 10 minutes. And so we're about two minutes in, and I'll be back in about eight minutes. This is now about mm, six minutes in, and you can see it's really a beautiful knead going. So I've got about another three minutes, and we'll be back and get it on to the next step. This is mm, ten minutes in. I'm going to turn that off. I think it's got a really nice knead, and I'm going to take that dough hook off there. Yeah, this looks really good. You know, one of the reasons I hadn't mentioned the vital uh, wheat gluten flour is that, you know, with all this heavy whole wheat and all these seeds, uh, it can really weigh it down. So that, that vital gluten really helps uh, give some lift to this dough. So I'm going to put in here some olive oil in my bowl. This is what's nice too is that when your bowl is this clean, you can just remove the dough and use this as your 
you know, your uh, rice bowl. You don't have to get out an additional bowl. So I've oiled that well, and I'm going to just kind of make this into a ball. It's a nice loaf. Mmm, can't wait. I'm going to put it in here. We're going to give it a spin, and we're going to toss it over so it's nicely coated. So I'm going to put some plastic wrap over this. I'm going to set it in a nice warm location. If you have a proving kind of a setting on your oven, that's great. If not, just, you know, setting the light bulb on in your oven. If it's a cold day, of course, you know, if it's a nice day, you probably don't even need to do that. But if it's cold, you know, put the light on in your oven and put it in there because that'll make it a nice warm atmosphere. We're going to let this rise probably about an hour and a half until it's, you know, doubled in size. And once that occurs, I'll bring it back. We are back. It's been about an hour and 45 minutes and the bread dough has risen very nicely. Take the lid plastic off this here. Mm, look at this. This is beautiful. Beautiful. Oh yeah. Very nice. So I'm going to pull so I'm it out press of this, this out now and make it into a roll. I'm just going to kind of roll it up here. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Tuck those ends in. Keep all those beautiful little seeds in place. Get out back here. Kind of just press that seam together as best you can. And the ends. Form it into a nice loaf and then we are going to just roll it in some seeds now to really really make it over the top wonderful i've got seeds here really that are the combination of what goes in it uh, there's the oats and the pumpkin seed and the sesame seed and poppy and i'm just going to put my hand in some water to moisten this loaf because the poppy seeds and all those wonderful seeds that are there just won't stick unless this loaf is wet. All right, that's good. I'm going to get it on here. Start pressing it in, pressing it in. Work on that seam there at the same time. I'll just kind of roll it in there. Because, you know, as this bakes, those are going to just turn beautiful and crispy and they'll be just a beautiful part of the loaf of this bread. So, all right. Pack them in there. And I've made a great mess. But that's all right. That's what cooking is all about, making messes. So I'm going to place this in here now. Just kind of put it in there. It's a nice big loaf, really. It's going to be beautiful. All right, so this is now going to be covered again back over. I'll use the same plastic wrap I used and put this back in that, you know, kind of warm environment and let it rise probably about 45 minutes. I want it to just, just begin to crest over the top of that pan and I'll show you before, uh, before we get it into the oven. So once it's about that place where we're ready to put it in the oven, I will uh, get back to you. This is ready to put in the oven. And I want to show you here. Look how beautiful that is. See there and see how high up above the, actually it might have uh, risen above the, the rim of the pan just a little bit more than I have wanted. Um, but it's beautiful. It's going to go into a preheated 350 degree oven for about 40 minutes. And when that is done, and we are very excited, to, you know, when it is done, we're going to let it cool and then uh, we'll take a slice and we'll take a taste. It's out of the oven. It's cooled enough so we can slice it. I'm going to show it to you because it's beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. Is this just both ends? I'll show you both ends. And the bottom. Oh, it's a beautiful loaf of bread. I cannot wait to cut into this. So. We're going to cut some and we're going to taste it. This looks so good. Good job. It looks so good. good I'm going to show you the, the loaf there. Is that just too beautiful on the wow. inside? I know it's, it looks really good. Okay. Cut this in half. Yeah, go ahead. Give me the small half though. It smells. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Oh, it smells, mm. it smells wicked. It smells good. Mm -hmm. 
Mm. Wow. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Oh, man. Look to the counter. We lost most of the seeds. There's a lot of seeds on that counter. Mm. Mm. So good. Well, that's really good. It's not dry. Mm -mm. Oh, no. What's really good, too, about it is that it's not overly sweet. Mm -hmm. Like, you know whose can be. Really. Yeah. That's really the problem with Dave's. It's so sweet. Mm-hmm. And so expensive. Mm, it tastes like bread. Uh huh. Good bread. It tastes delicious. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. The crust. Lots of seeds. Mm hmm. Yeah, I like that. Excellent texture. Mm. Excellent texture. Super. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, well this you can do it. You can do this. If I can do Dave's bread, you can do Dave's bread. Mm. Excellent. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, I guess that's it. Yeah, I'm going to eat some bread. Thanks a lot for watching. Tell your friends, subscribe, and eat some great bread. Take care. Bye-bye. Oh, Bye-bye.